Hi, I am Nazan Mohammadi from Curtin University. I'm going to demonstrate Chapter 3 lab of CCNA Security version 1.2. In this lab, you are going to build the multi-router network and configure routers and hosts. Then we are going to use CLI command and CCP tools to configure routers with basic authentication system called AAA. Then we install a software on one of the computers called Radio Server and use uh, AAA to authenticate users with radio server. The first two parts of this lab is exactly the same as Chapter 2 lab. So please complete all the configuration in Chapter 2, Part 2 up to Task 5, including the topology and device setting. <music> In this part of the lab, we are going to configure a local authentication using AAA on R3. To do this, the first step is to configure the local user database. So we create a local user account with MD5 hashing to encrypt the password. Now that we created this account, we exit from the global configuration mode and display the running configuration to verify this account in the running configuration. So you can see it's the account is there with the privilege 15 and the password is hashed. Now we are going to enable AAA services by putting the command AAA new model. Then we need to create a default login authentication list by issuing the command AAA authentication login default. And then we can add three methods. We only put two methods in here. The first method we are going to use is local, which means it's going to check the local database. And the second met method would be none, which means no authentication at all. Make sure to do this step, because if you don't, you can get locked out of, the, of your router. To verify the authentication list, we exit to initial router screen and first log in with the correct username password, which is admin01 and admin01pass. So from this output, we verify that uh, local authentication worked. Now we are going to try none. So we log in with a bad user, which is not in this, uh, it's not configured in our router. And any password. So we still can get into the router. It means that the non-authentication that we put at the end of our authentication list is taking place. With AAA authentication profile, you can have unique lists for different services. For now, we're going to make one for Telnet access to the router. So we create a list called Telnet lines and the method we choose local only. Then we need to apply that to the line VTY, which is our Telnet line. The command login authentication and the name of the list should apply to the line VTY. Our Telnet uh, authentication method is only local, so if there is a wrong username and password, it should disable the line. Now to verify our authentication profile with Telnet uh, from PCC to R3. First, we use the username and password, the correct one, admin01 and admin01pass. So we get into the router. Now we try the bad user. Since we only specified local in our authentication profile, this user should be denied.
To configure AAA local authentication, you can use Cisco CCP as well. To do this, we need to remove the configuration that we put in the previous step. Since we didn't do the backup, if we just do the reload, it should bring it back to the step that we want. This task is optional task. If you've done the previous step, you don't need to do this one. We're just trying the CCP to show the differences between the CCP configuration and CLI configuration. Now that we restored the router into the basic configuration, we log in using the user01 account. And in global configuration mode, we are going to enable the AAA services. For CCP connection, we always need to have the IP HTTP server running as well. Then for the secure connection, we need to put in IP HTTP secure server and uh, create a username and password with the privilege 15. And at the end, we just configure CCP to use the local database to authenticate web sessions. Start CCP on PCC. In the Manage Device window, add R3 IP address in the first IP address field and enter admin as username and Cisco12345 as password. Click OK and discover. Click the configure button at the top and choose router, router access and user account view. Click add and add username and password, username admin01, password admin01 pass confirm it as well. Make sure to click the box for the encryption and choose level 15. Now click OK and deliver. Click OK again. To create a AAA method list, click on Configure button, Router, AAA, Authentication Policies, and login. Click add and make sure the name is default. Add a method. Choose local for the first method. Click OK. Add another method. This time none for no authentication. OK. Deliver and OK. Okay, now we are going to verify the AAA username and profile for console login. First, we log in with admin01 and the password admin01pass. So now it's using the local method. Again, this time we're using the bad user and any password. Okay, we got into the router. It means that this time we use the non method, so no authentication. To check the commands associated with the CCP session, we log into the router using admin01 and admin01pass and then access the privilege exec mode using the password Cisco12345. And issue the command show run. So now you can verify the configuration from CCP session. Thank you.
this task, we are going to use debug command to observe successful and unsuccessful authentication attempts. It is very important to verify the system clock and debug timestamp when you are dealing with the debug commands. So first we uh, configure the clock set. And then we verify that the detailed timestamp information is available with the show run and include timestamps. If the service timestamps debug command is not presented, you can easily enable it by putting the command service timestamps debug datetime msec. Okay, now we do the backup, copy the running config into a startup config. To use the debug to verify the user access, we put the command debug AAA authentication. By putting this command, we activate the debugging for AAA authentication. To check that, we start a Telnet session from PCC to R3 and log into the Telnet session using admin01 and admin01 pass. When you logged into the Telnet session, go and check the R3 console uh, for any debugging messages. Now we go back to the Telnet session and enter the privilege uh, exec mode. Logging using Cisco 12345. Again, we're going to check the debugging messages on R3 console. So something similar to this should appear. Debugging messages gives you lots of information, like the IP address of the device connected by Telnet, and the username it used. User, you can see the admin01 in there, and the TTY line is connected to. Also, it shows that the, it passed the authentication. You can see the word pass. We go back to the Telnet session. We use the disable command to come out of the privilege exec mode. And we use another password, which is a bad password, to fail the authentication and see what messages we get on the router. So from the debugging messages, you can see that the method was enabled, I get the password, the password is incorrect, and the status is failed. Now we go back to the Telnet session. We close this Telnet session when we open another one. This time we want to log in using username admin01 and a bad password. Remember that in our AAA authentication list for Telnet, we only had local method. So this shouldn't work, which it doesn't. And on R3 console, this is a debugging message we received. 